Hello guys, how is it going? It is Fake Oak. I'm actually once again with more card reveals. Let's get it. Can't wait. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be audio here, but that's fine. Let's see what we got. Landmark. The Slaughter Docks. Round start. Toss one. If you are deep, destroy me. Summon a random sea monster. So it's a three mana landmark card that you'll at the round start. If you are deep, you destroy me to summon a random sea monster. So you're paying the three mana earlier in the game to get some value later in the game. But the thing is though, what it is granting you is permanent tossing mechanics. So you spend this three mana to get consistent tossing. Guys, it's gonna sound so awkward repeating that word over and over. And then if you are deep, you'll destroy it to summon a random sea monster. Actually, this card seems pretty good. It seems like a fantastic tool for deep decks that oftentimes don't really have much tempo plays and this provides a fair bit of tempo right the tossing is kind of relevant is there any other like there's not really much other cards that want to benefit from toss right now other than maokai and nautilus however seeing these cards maybe we can expect to see tom kenshi is going to have some sort of deep and toss mechanics involved with him and that's going to be fantastic because maokai is like focused about the toss nautilus is focused about the deep maybe uh, Tom Kench will be focused on kind of both and that's going to be fantastic then you destroy it so it, it's pretty much fantastic value I think if, if you're if you can get away with playing this within the first few early turns that's going to be fantastic and then yeah we just go to town from there seems like a very powerful card I think it's going to have high potential and like putting sea monsters and deep into like a different tier but it really depends on the rest of the cards what we're going to see right uh, 8 mana sunk cost slow speed spell shuffle a unit or landmark into its deck wow this is very expensive i think because this comes with the the landmark keyword involved in the removal perhaps landmarks are just going to be like incredible cards that require very specific tech cards to deal with it also gets to shuffle a unit as well it could be yours as well I'm not sure if there'd be like a rare case scenario where shuffling your unit's going to be the relevant play. That's very expensive. Like, is it even worth playing landmarks? It, like, I don't know. Like, shuffle a unit. You know, this, that seems very expensive. Like, I think I'll just play Vengeance. It makes me think, because I had a theory that maybe, maybe uh, Vengeance will be able to uh, target landmarks, but maybe it won't. Lounging Lizard, 3 mana 3, 5 at the round start, deal 2 to me. This is for Bilgewater. It's elusive. Okay, I hear you. You're playing a 3 mana 3 5 with elusive that will deal damage to itself over and over and over. Um, how can we make this work? Because we oftentimes see cards that we at first don't see much potential in, but then suddenly come out of nowhere. Yeah, realistically though, with the current amount of tools we have, I mean, you can grant it regeneration, but. You're not really going to be able to keep this alive consistently. It's going to go. It's going to go down to a three-three on your next turn, and then to a three-one on your opponent's turn. So if you get two attacks off with this, it's pretty much worth plus a block. Um, this card might actually have some potential that we just don't see yet. It looks kind of weird at the moment, but it's a three mana three-five at first with elusive. No, it seems pretty good. I think you're better off playing Narwhal, but we'll see. It does seem like. I mean, elusive is a very powerful keyword, right? It can never be slept on. But I think, obviously, uh, obviously, like, it's probably gonna die, and you might not get that much value from it sometimes. But it's kind of interesting. I think this will see some experimentation. Fortune Croker, play deal one to me and an ally to draw one. Very interesting. This whole cards that are damaged and. Bilgewater having like this kind of identity now that's like looking like it's going to be about like kind of like going nuts and damaging themselves. So can you play it and not deal one to an ally? Because it includes your own face. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just the units, right? That's so weird. Like one drops that want to be damaged. Actually, this works with one drops that want to be damaged, right? And this always comes down as a 2-2. And then maybe... Okay, like Bilgewater Freehold, we can start to do some pretty funny stuff with uh, buffing damage units. A 2-mana 2-4. Challenger, play deal 3 to me. We, we keep seeing this trend. What the hell is Tom Kench going to do? 
the two mana 3-1. But what's relevant here is that it's going to deal damage to itself. It's also a buff to Vlad, like a Vladimir 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 Bilgewater deck, for example. Because this counts, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, sorry, Swain. I mean Swain. This is a buff to Swain, if anything. 1 mana 2 4, deal 2 to me. So it's a 1 mana 2 2. This is kind of this is kind of power creep, but not power creep. If being able to damage your units and play a 1 mana 2 2 with 2 HP, but it is damaged. I mean, Ravenous Flock's the card that can deal with that, and Noxious, Noxian Guillotine, but that's about it. For whatever reason, there's cards that synergize, or new cards coming out that synergize with damaged units, then this card probably has high stonks. And that's probably going to be the final card, right? Oh, one more. Crumble. Kill an ally to kill a unit or destroy a landmark. So this is, yeah, I believe... At the moment, I was expecting certain cards to be updated with the new text to be able to destroy landmarks. But after seeing like these landmark cards and how expensive they are to destroy other landmarks, then yeah, landmarks are probably going to be quite powerful. At least that's what they're represented in the forms of the current removal. I doubt Vengeance is going to have any interaction with our landmarks now. Not really too much to talk about. Obviously, it's very early into this current reveal season, but we you know we already have some cards in the current collection. However, these cards specifically, we haven't seen as much synergy for revealed already. So we'll just have to wait and see. Obviously, Tom Kench is going to be coming out tomorrow, so we'll look forward to that. And yeah, you guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to leave a like. I'll see you guys soon.